welcome to this new video this video is about showing current date in the slicer so that means from the starting date till the current date in the slicer so for example if the in a purchase table the end date will be another date that might be might be one year less than the current date but still if you want to show the current date to the slicer how you can do it through calendar table this is the example we are going to take we have a purchase date and the last date of that purchase date is 2021 july but at the as of the current date current date is second of june 2022 we need to display the starting date of the purchase date till the current date so usually we used to get the end date as the last day of the purchase date but we don't want the end date of the purchase date we need the last date that is the current date. so if, if it is for tomorrow we need to get it as 3rd june 2022 so it is very simple to use that you need to get the minimum of this purchase date when you have to definitely you need to create a calendar table and you need to give a relationship with this purchase date and when you create the calendar table you might be given the calendar auto function instead of the calendar auto function if it is only one column in the data set which is representing the date column we can use this method that you need to get the minimum of this date column and for the maximum we need to give the current date that is from the minimum till the current and that calendar table that calendar column you need to drag it to the slicer but if suppose if you are having too many calendar columns in the table that means in a data set if you have more than one columns so for example if you are taking this purchase table it is having two date column one is payment date and one is purchase date so that means the date the minimum date will be different for payment and purchase so for creating the calendar column we need the exact minimum date and we need the exact maximum date for that usually we used to do calendar auto so calendar auto we can't give it till today till the current day whatever date is the minimum and maximum with compared to these two tables to these two columns it will be created using calendar auto for that we need to create a calendar auto in a temporary table and that temporary table you need to convert it into calendar function and you need to get the minimum date from that temporary table and you need to use the current date using the same calendar function we will see both the cases right now we are going to see only one case that suppose if you are having only purchase date in this entire data set we will be considering only the purchase date so we will do that so now actually if you are taking a slicer and if you are selecting the purchase date you will be getting this is the minimum that is 17th december 2015 if you want to get the maximum you can go to the sort axis and you can set it as sort descending so this is the last date that is 24th july 2020 we don't want this 2021 alone we need to get more dates until the current date that is 2022 june so we for creating that we need to create a calendar table so instead of this purchase date we will create a calendar table and we will relate the calendar table with this purchase date and then we will show the minimum of this purchase date that will be the so 17 december 2015 is the minimum from the minimum instead of getting the maximum that is 21 july we need to get the maximum as today that is the current day so it is very simple we can go here and we can create a table no table and name the table as calendar we can name it as calendar one equals to just use the calendar function and start date should be the minimum of purchase date so this is the date we are dealing with right now and at the end date usually we will give it as maximum of purchase date instead of that you can give it as today and the thing is done you can select the data type properly date so here we are here we are getting that if you are selecting this date column and if you sort it by descending you can see that you, we got the last date as 2nd june that 2022 that is the current so if you are create if you select that calendar table and drag it to here you will be getting the same result on calendar one you are getting, taking the date and you take the list down so now this is the starting starting is same as 17 december 2015 now we need to see the ending ending it will be sorted by de descending and the ending you can see it is not 21st july 2021 it is 2nd june 2020 so this is the first scenario because this is a very simple scenario because usually this scenario won't happen when you are doing a big project you will be having multiple tables so the for multiple tables to get the calendar table you will be using calendar auto because when you use the calendar auto function power bi itself will check the minimum from all these table and will get the maximum from all these table and it will create the calendar table automatically so right now we are considering these two calendar columns that is payment date and the purchase date and here both the minimum and the maximum for these two are different so for example if you are selecting the payment date so payment date this is the starting date uh, most similar to this purchase date itself but if you are taking the descending when it is going to have the last date you can see that is different because that is different from this 
this purchase date. So definitely the max will be totally different in these two tables. So when Power BI creates the calendar auto, it will be taking the first minimum date as 17 December, or it will be taking the test. Mostly it will be taking it as 2015 January till 2021 December. Since there is a big there is a difference between this purchase date and the payment. Date. In this situation, we can't use the calendar function. Instead of that, obviously we use to use calendar auto. But at that point of time, you can't get the current date that is 2nd June 2020. So we need to create a temporary table. We will be creating for creating the temporary calendar. We can create the new table and we can name the temporary calendar as temp cal equals to calendar auto. We can change the date and time. So when you go and check it here, the calendar auto, this is the temporary table and we are taking it the date. You can check the date. It is not from December or it is not from 17 December. It is taking the first from the January itself. That is the starting date. And you can see, you will be able to see the ending date. So if you sort it in a descending way, you can see it as December 2021. So this is the way our calendar auto works. It will compare both the calendar columns and it will start with the minimum and end with the maximum. So inside this, both the calendars will be coming inside this start and maximum. But still here, the problem is we need to get the current date. That should be the maximum. Before that, we need to create another table and we need to get the temp minimum from this temporary table. So what we can do is we can create a table and here we can give it as calendar two equals calendar function and minimum from the temporary table date and till today. So you can change the date and we will be displaying it. We can display it in a slicer itself. We will copy and paste and we will change it. And here we can take it off this and calendar two, we will select and keep. So if you see the calendar two starting is from January, of course it is from January. And now we will see the ending of this calendar and we can do a descending sort and see the ending of this calendar is the current day. So these are both the ways where we can find the minimum the calendar table and get the maximum as the current value. First one, the minimum was the only one column with the minimum of the date and we've got the calendar date as minimum and the maximum was a different date, but we got the maximum as current date. Second one, the minimum was equal to having two columns, and but the maximum was different for the two columns. One was 17th October 2021 and another one was 21st July 2021. So that we created a temporary table. In that temporary table, we give a calendar auto function. So so we got the minimum and maximum. So it will be covering both the columns, payment and purchase date. And we got the minimum from this temporary table to the calendar and we got the maximum as the current date. So this is the final calendar table. So in this way, we can create calendar table and drag it to the slicer where we can get the maximum date as the current date. Hope this will be helpful for you. Have a nice day.